In our last video, we talked about connecting a Claro with WPML for translation management. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to make it work. We're here in the translation dashboard, which may look familiar from when we did manual local translations. We're going to choose post and filter. And here we see our posts. Now I chose post here, but this would work with any content type, like pages. We'll choose one and add it to the translation basket. Now let's go to the translation basket. And here's our post. And here's where it differs from using the local translator. For our translator, we're going to choose first available a Claro. Let's set the due date to 30 January. And then we'll send all items for translation. There. Now the translation job has been sent to a Claro. Go to Translation Jobs. You'll be able to see our job listed here. It shows a status of in progress, and there's a deadline. Now this status will not change on its own. You can either click Synchronize Status, and it will run out and check for you and update this, or you can log into the Maya Claro dashboard and take a look. You'll be able to see it right here. This says right now it's in preparation. And then if we click it, you can see details for this item. And this will move through several different stages before it gets to complete. Now when the process is complete, on the dashboard here, it'll say complete. And then we can go back to our own site and it'll say complete right here. Additionally, an email gets sent when the translation is complete, so you don't have to keep checking back. Now you may recall on our multilingual content setup, we made a choice about whether or not completed items were set to draft or published. This applies to Eclero as well. It will respect that setting. So when they complete a translation, it'll either publish or get set marked as draft, depending on your settings. Let's go take a look at what they sent. We go to Posts, All Posts, and click on Spanish. And here we have our draft. Let's preview. And there's our post with their professional translation. And if we edit, now WordPress knows that this post was previously managed by WPML. And it could still be again. We have the option to edit here or open in the translation editor. I'm going to control click here. And you can see what it would look like right here in the translation manager. Or we can choose edit anyway and it's editing like a normal post. Now I'd like to point out, at no time did the Eclero administrators or translators have access to the site. However, that said, Eclero does have professional web developers on hand and available for hire if you need some help. WordPress, combined with WPML, sent this translation to Eclero via their API, where it was managed at their end by their professional translators. And then their API sent it back to WPML and WordPress. And then WPML and WordPress managed getting it into the right place in the posts listing. At this point, it's just another normal translated post. It simply came to us from a professional translator. In our next video, we'll summarize all that we've learned in this series.